people that, that you're um, calling, that we're calling information illiterate. Is this a growing class in, in the context of the, of the internet and its accessibility, or do you think they've always been there and they're just becoming more visible to you, the librarian at the reference desk, because they're, they're reaching out for help? Well, I think there's always been people with low levels of literacy for a variety of reasons, whether it's um, um, the recent immigrants and they have uh, language challenges because mm -hmm. they're learning a second language, who, people who didn't uh, receive proper schooling, people who've been um, institutionalized for much of their life. So whether they've been in and, out of, in and out of the criminal justice system or some other institution like foster care, their education may have been interrupted. So there's a lot of reasons why people um, have that shortcoming. Mm -hmm. And we try to get people um, to a level where they can at least function in a basic Windows environment. And we have these free computer classes. We certainly encourage people to take them and repeat them if necessary. But, um, you know, we have to show people sometimes over and over and over how to do something before they really get it. And then we have people who are generally the older crowd who never wanted to learn computers, sort of tuned that out, and now that so much is online, they're, they're a little bit behind. They're mm -hmm. literate, they can read, if we print it out for them, they're happy, but they just don't feel comfortable using a computer. And this has been the direct observation of you and your colleagues? Yes. yes. Um,